<laughs> now I do. It's really cold, and I'll take it every year. Jeff Duncan, head coach for the Golden Flashes. You saw Kent State in one of the greatest college baseball games of all time a couple of years ago, yeah. and now here you are two years later leading them back to the promised land. Oh, it's, it's so neat, and especially the way we did it today. With, you know, with a guy like Zarly Zalewski <laughs> coming up, having three tough at-bats, you know, and then you, you had confidence in him. I know you did. And he goes to the left side, and, you know, and then comes up the big hit just like he has all season long, you know. And, and it, that, when you, as a coach, I actually, you get a little emotional seeing it because that's what baseball is all about. Baseball, you got a lot of adversity um, in baseball, in the game, and he stuck with it. He was mentally strong and, and really came up with a big hit. And then our pitching staff today putting up nine zeros and, you know, an unbelievable job, you know, from our pitching staff, Coach Burke Peck unbelievable pitching guy and I'm just I'm, I'm lucky to have a guy like that. Can we rewind it one year ago not quite a full year when you were appointed the head coach of the Golden Flashes yeah. taking over uh, the next in a long line of, of really legendary head coaches here and the number one thing you did first of all was we made sure Mike Birkbeck stayed. Absolutely and you know with the guy who's been here for 17 years and all the success uh, he has had I'd be stupid not to you know to at least take this job and be next to that guy and I've learned a lot from him throughout the season and, and just an unbelievable job this pitching staff has done all season long from our starters to our bullpen so it's made the job easier for me. I got on the bus in Muncie three straight days after three very frustrating losses and each time I braced myself for a complete tongue lashing yeah. by you to your team that never came. Mm -hmm. Why not? Well, I think there's a time and place for it, and um, I know the way we lost, it was really tough losses. You know, you know, we blew two leads in the ninth inning, and, and uh, it's not that we were playing terrible baseball. We just needed to learn from what we did in those ninth innings between, you know, making mistakes defensively or, or even in the base running offensively, just little things. And I just addressed it that way and, and try to stay afloat and keep these guys going because I knew that this team had potential going into the uh, end of the season, especially with a young team. It was a mixture and you had some older guys, but we were very youthful in that Ball State series, you know, especially without Alex Miklos and, and you know, and, and Sawyer Poland. So, um, you know, I think we did have Sawyer Poland that weekend, but we had, you know, Zach Beckner was playing Wags, what Justin Wagler. So you just gotta, you gotta be careful what you do. I believe in that, and, and uh, make sure you got the timing for doing that tongue lashing. Well, an unwavering sense of positivity from you and the, and the entire staff really during that whole weekend, yeah. knowing there were important games to play. But seriously, you came in here with a pitching staff at the MAG tournament that it was its first full-time year starting on the weekend. Yeah. You're missing two guys yeah. from your Omaha team. Right. How in the world are you standing here after a dog pile? Well, I'll tell you what, there's, there's some guys that really stepped up. You know, you go from, you start out there pitching, you know, Brian Clark set the tone in that first game, you know, unbelievable game to start out and going eight and a third. And, and then, you know, Johnny Fasolo coming out of the bullpen, Danny Kupchak coming out of the bullpen and settling in. But the guys who have stepped up, you know, for Alex Miklos and Sawyer Poland, Troy Summers and, and Zach Beckner. Zach Beckner played an outstanding defense all week and, and, and really did a good job. And that helped out our pitching staff as well. And then had some key hits as well. And him and him and Troy Summers, I'm so proud of those two because they've handled some adversity. Troy Summers hadn't played really all season long. And he comes in and gets an opportunity and makes the most of it. And that's what it's all about. Well, congratulations, your season continues. We've done some research, too. At 4-0, you have the best winning percentage in the MAC tournament in all time. <laughs> we'll keep it that way. We'll keep going. We'll see you next year. <laughs> congratulations, Jeff Duncan. In his first year, he's...